business book, Grow Your Business with Cold Emails. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I wanted to talk about this book by Jeremy Chatelaine. Awesome book. It's been out there for a while. I've had it for a few years, but it's one that I keep going back to. And it's not just for cold emails. So cold emails is a thing that you'll see a lot in especially B2B spaces. So if you're working business to business versus business to consumer, if you understand that, uh, then you understand that people publish their email addresses and publish ways of getting hold of them, not only emails, but uh, contact forms on websites and so forth. And what he discusses here is the do's and don'ts of how you go about doing this and how to actually get in touch with people. A whole lot of my business has been built via uh, cold connections initially. But then if you can jump into warm connections, that always you'll always have a better chance. If you can link from one person to the other, that makes a big difference. But initially you may have to talk to people that are cold, but not only for that. So here's another thing that a book like this will come in handy with. If you're emailing people and you're getting any type of response like I didn't get your email when they don't realize that it's gone into a spam folder which nowadays more than ever before in fact, in fact when I first started sending out emails we did not have as much of an issue with spam filters now they will send anything that is an unrecognized domain name so if you go and you start a new domain a new website and you've got a new domain name and then you put out a new email address nowadays it's almost guaranteed that you are going to be slipped into the spam folder of many many email addresses out there. You just can't get around it. It's almost impossible. And so you gotta find clever ways to be able to open yourself up. You gotta make sure everything's as clean as possible. You gotta do a little bit of tracking, a little bit of testing, but even beyond that. So I'll, I'll give you an example. We have a, uh, we have a handful of podcasts and uh, my producer has an email address for each podcast when he is trying to get in touch with somebody. And we found that so many of them, we can't get that initial touch unless we reach them with a Gmail based email address. One thing we found is that Gmail based email addresses tend to get through for some reason, which is funny because it's a free email address. It's more difficult, it's easier to get, anybody can get one. But for some reason, the spam bots out there will allow a Gmail address to go straight through and not get tossed into spam most of the time. Um, it, at least I've seen across the board uh, with the situations we've been dealing with. So if you're going to hit that initial time, you may not want to use that. Or if you are using that, you'll want to follow up. You'll want to track and see if anyone's actually open. There's these uh, trackers out there that allow you to do to do these type of things. And he talks about all these things. It's a thin book, it's a little book, but he covers all the main things. There's links in here and some of them aren't gonna work like uh, because you know, after you, as soon as you publish a book, a lot of the links are gonna start going dead, but this is a few years old. Uh, Jeremy is the one that uh, is the founder of quickmail.io. So he has his own service and this is kind of a way of being able to promote that. So it's a great book if you wanna learn how to build a book around your service. He, he did a great job with this one. And also can't recommend it enough in terms of understanding email. Even today, the same principles are true and you have to take all these things into effect. In fact, he even has a couple of uh, email templates. He's got five separate uh, email uh, processes, not just one email, but uh, if you're going to send multiple emails to the same person, because th this is really one of the main points of his book, and I, I highlighted this. He said the money is almost never in the first email. So you have to think about relationship building instead. And if you're gonna do that, you gotta have multiple emails. You gotta send one after another in order to get attention. You know, just like anything, repetition and consistency are gonna put you over the top. Uh, that's a, it, it, it's a great, Email is a great tactic, but there's a strategy behind it. And so you really gotta look at the big picture when you're looking to introduce a tactic like that into your arsenal. Uh, but 
something to keep in mind. These are all great things to keep in mind, and that's a great book on the topic. Um, if you want another book that's broad based on your entire business on how to go about attacking things, go check out my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. Amazon Proof is all about being competition proof, okay? Meaning even the big guy like Amazon.com can't stop you if you go at it. Uh, with the right attitude and hit it in the right areas. I'm going to show you those areas that Amazon can't stop you on. Nine ways to Amazon proof your business. Free copy available for anybody that wants it, at least for now, over at amazonproofbook.com. We'll be back here tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.